Hi folks, this is the first video in my new instructional series called Fun Tunes Arranged for Clawhammer Banjo Beginners. And in this video I'm going to play my bare bones stripped down version of Cripple Creek and walk you through it so you can play it too. If you haven't watched my introductory video to this series, you might want to go back and take a look at that first. That will give you some idea to the approach I'm taking to teaching and learning, which is a bit different than many of the usual approaches. But if not, I think you can jump in here and get the gist of it. So first off, by bare bones, I mean that there aren't going to be any embellishments or ornaments in this version. I've stripped out all the hammers, slides, pull-offs. I'm not even going to use brushes. Drop them all that. Just pull it all out. And all I'm going to do is play melody notes and then offbeat drone notes on the fifth string. And I'm just simply going to use the bum ditty rhythm, nothing else, bum ditty, bum ditty, bum ditty, all the way through the tune while we're playing the melody and then hitting those drone notes. So that's all you need to be able to do here to learn this particular version and also get into the standard G tuning. Cripple Creek is a great starter tune for several reasons. Number one, it's in the standard G tuning, which is kind of a universal banjo tuning. So there's so many tunes that work out and it's an open tuning, so it's easy to work with. Cripple Creek is a familiar and fairly simple melody. It's easy to hum, it's easy to whistle, it gets in your brain. Uh, maybe sometimes it stays there too long, but that, that's another issue. Also, it has two parts, an A part and a B part. And depending upon the version you play, both parts are only four measures long. And uh, typically the way it's played is you play the A part and then you repeat it, and then you play the B part and repeat that. So the tune structure is A, A, B, B. So really, there's only eight measures of music in 4-4 time that you have to learn here. And as you'll see, several of the measures get recycled. So it's not even eight full measures that you have to learn. There's a lot of recycling going on. Another nice thing about Cripple Creek is you have melody notes on all the four long strings, so you get to work out across the strings doing that. And lastly, the fretting is pretty basic in order to get the melody notes, so it's not a very tricky tune. Okay, and lastly, I've put a tab for this on the Banjo Hangout. If you go to the uh, YouTube description below, you'll see a link to that tab, so go ahead and grab that if you want it. And lastly, this is a version of Cripple Creek, not the version. It's a version that I'm using here. Beware that there are many different versions of this played by different people, but it's all based on the same basic melody line. So let's get started. First, let me play through it. And again, I'm in standard G tuning from fifth string to first string. It's G, D, G, B, and D again. So when I strum across the banjo, I have a nice open G chord. And of course, this is in the key of G. So here's the bare bones stripped down version of Cripple Creek that we're going to work through. Notice that I'm just doing single string strikes, no brushes in there. If you end up brushing, it's no big deal, but try not to. Try to follow along and just do single string strikes. When we get to the subsequent videos, I'll put brushes back in and show you where I like to put brushes in and all that sort of thing. Now let's do a walkthrough. So the first measure is going to start on the first string, and we're going to fret the uh, first string at the fifth fret using our pinky and we're going to do a bum ditty there and then we're going to pick up our pinky and just do a bum ditty on the open first string so it's going to be once again a okay, bum ditty bum ditty the first one's fretted the second one's open measure two we're going to make a partial C chord, and to do that, we're going to put our pointer or index finger down on the first fret of the second string, and then put your ring finger down on the first string at the second fret. Now, a normal C chord would also we'd put our middle finger on the 
fourth string at the second fret, but we're not playing that string here. So typical of claw hammer, we use partial chords if we're, we're not playing a particular string. We don't do the full chord. So we can just get by with a two finger C chord here. And the next measure is going to be So that first bum ditty starts on the fretted second string, then the next note with the finger goes to the first string, and then the second bum ditty is just on the open first string. So, first bum ditty we use the C chord, start on the second string, go to the first string, then pick your fingers up and just play a bum ditty on the open first string. Measure three, is all on the second and the third string. And we're going to start that off with a bum ditty on the open second string. Then we're going to go down to the third string, put your middle finger down at the second fret, and we're going to hit that note, and then we're going to pick our finger up and hit the open third string, and then finish with the offbeat on the fifth string. So it's so the first bum ditty is open second string, and then down to the third string. And then the last measure is going to go down to the fourth string. It's going to sound like this. First bum ditty is going to start with an open note on the fourth string, then fret the fourth string at the second fret for the second note, then fifth string for the offbeat, and then finish with a bum ditty on the open third string. So let's put the whole A part together. Once again, I'll play through it slowly. Let's walk through the B part. So guess what? That third measure of the A part that went we're going to use that to kick off the B part. So that's going to be the first measure. So we're just going to recycle that. Pretty easy. Now for the second measure of the B part, we're going to start on the open second string again, but rather than going down to the third string, for the second bump ditty, we're just going to go up to the open first string. So pretty straightforward. It's second, second, first, first. Okay, then the last two measures of the B part are exactly the same as the last two measures of the A part. So we're going to recycle that whole ending is going to come off as so second, second, third, third, fourth, fourth, third, third. And of course, we had some fretting in there, but you can refer back to that uh, to get it down. So once again, here's the whole B part. play it through the entire thing one more time just so you can hear it now that we've walked through it. So there is our Bare Bones Cripple Creek. I'll be posting follow-up videos of this 
Cripple Creek version. And each one I'll add an embellishment on top of the basic foundation. So again, we'll just do one thing at a time, add an embellishment, work on that. Then the next video we'll add in and eventually we'll have a fully rendered version of Cripple Creek that you can play for anybody. But hey, if you get this bare bones version down, it's going to sound pretty good. If you got the rhythm and timing and clean strikes down, it actually sounds pretty good. You'll want to add in stuff, but it's not a bad version at all. For now, practice the bare bones version. Focus on solid rhythm and strong, clean melody notes. Take it slow until you get the whole thing embedded in muscle memory. If one measure or phrase is giving you a problem, isolate that and work on it over and over and then put it back into the whole thing. And again, keep it at the pace you can play it until you can get the whole thing. Refer to the tab when you need something. If you want to use the tab, if you had a problem or can't remember something, refer back to the tab. But I would advise you, try not to read the tab while you're playing. Look at it get it in your head and then play it. Otherwise, you're going to get into that tab habit that's hard to break from. Okay, watch for the next video in which I will introduce slides into Cripple Creek. And until then, keep on picking.